Hi everyone, it's Michelle Lloyd here, founder of United Art Space, and this week I've been bringing in some of the Hub members to talk about their experience inside the Hub, and I am very excited to be joined with Colleen today from Canada. Hello Colleen! Hello! <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. So You're welcome. Tell everybody, so you've had a bit of an interesting journey inside the Hub, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been, yeah, yeah, I learned, I learned a lot. And the hardest thing for me was the why. Yeah. The hardest thing. I think I rewrote that thing five or six times. You're not alone though. <laughs> oh, that was, yeah, that was, it's been interesting, but it's been good. It's been really good. I've learned uh, a lot, a lot I've learned. So rather than us talking about the work you do now, I'd like to go back before you join the Hub actually. And let's talk about the work that you made then, because I think it would be oh. interesting to see that, that transformation. I don't even know if you can see behind me. Yes, I Some can. My work. Yes. Um, I used to be, and I mean, even, even this, I don't know if you can see, yeah. like I'm surrounded, I'm surrounded by my paintings, surrounded. Um, I used to be an acrylic painter and uh, it was, I'm fourth generation. So it came really easy to me. So I ended up moving to Toronto and pursuing a career in art there. And that worked out well until the divorce. So I ended up leaving and it was just starting to go off. I had a really good gallery, but I couldn't stay. So then I ended up moving to uh, back home. And then from there I left and I thought that was a very tough move too. And I thought I'm going to do what I've always wanted to do, live up in cottage country. So I moved up into uh, Georgian Bay biosphere. Mm -hmm. And it is all about the environment. It's basically what Greta Thunberg is arguing about with people. Mm -hmm. And um, I ended up changing my medium because of the environment. And I started working with Copic markers, pencil and ink on paper, recycled paper. Mm -hmm. So that was, uh, that was the switch over. And I did that. I think I took my new style. It took me two months. I think it was two months yeah. to learn how to use the markers and that. And then I got hooked up with uh, the virtual studio. Yeah. Yeah. And was visiting in there. Yeah. And then the offer came up and I thought, why not? Yeah. Wonderful. And I, uh, from there I'm learning, like, um, I have to start, I'm basically starting over again, which is interesting to be in a small town trying to start over. <laughs> it's, very clicky. it's very clicky very odd but yeah. um I mean I pretty much hunkered down and I'm doing my own thing yeah I have reached out and I do I draw basically drag queens yeah I do drag amazing. queen portraits they're so, amazing I love them <laughs> <laughs> but it's not it's not that I have to um I hear a little bit about their stories, but I pretty much don't. It's the art. It's taking their art yeah, and yeah. doing their portraits. And I want to get them. I don't think there's one drag queen in a portrait gallery, like a, a uh, like a national portrait gallery or anything like that. I, mean, I don't think good. so. That's a good point. So yeah. I'm, that's what I'm driving for. That's amazing. And I, I haven't, um, like they're, they're starting, I'm starting to get recognition with them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like there's, there's, there's a bit of a buzz going. So, oh, um, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I started, I started with the big ones, but it ended up, it was my Instagram account. It was just by fluke. Winter here is terrible, terrible. Like minus, minus 26 Fahrenheit, like just bitter cold. <laughs> that just makes me. <laughs> and I'm not going toes. out. I mean, it's beautiful. It's quiet. Like nobody wants to go out. So it's, it's so quiet. Um, but uh, I was going, this year's winter kind of lasted a little long. It was into, I think it was April, and I was starting to go stir crazy. So then on my Instagram account, I had a drag queen show up. And I thought, why not? This will be fun. This will keep me. how it all started. <laughs> That's amazing. I did not know that. And then I learned, and then you started talking about um, algorithms. Oh, I can't get rid of them now. Like, they're... <laughs> I told you, I told you, where focus goes, energy flows. 
<laughs> you know, it's like, geez, I want to learn about other things, but it's like, oh man, you're, you're a very interesting drag queen. I think I'll draw you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So you've gone from, um, cause you obviously moved to this beautiful place. You've shown pictures inside the hub. It just looks phenomenal. Um, and so you've gone from that to, you know, it was like nature, birds, and, and then to drag queens. So it's like such a massive. Oh, it's, it is. But I think too, what it is, is that I, this place heals. Mm -hmm. This place heals. Like I, uh, to, to move from, from everywhere that I've lived, I experienced cottage country with my ex-husband. They had a cottage and we were up there eight, eight weeks a year. And it was just phenomenal, but it was starting to get really, really busy. Mm -hmm. And then I had a taste of it. And I, I was working with an art student of mine on a um, Legion poster and her background had um, Cherokee Indian. So we decided to do the Legion poster because they weren't represented. Mm -hmm. And I'm always, I'm always one that goes way out, like way outside the box. And I ended up, um, we brought in her ancestors. And I, one of her ancestors is from here, from Perry Sound. And I looked at it and I thought, okay, I'll go. Because <laughs> you're one of these, Colin, you're just amazing at drawing anything, aren't you? You can just pick up the You know, but that's, it's, like for me, I think, I, well, I'm pretty sure of it. For me, my art has always been my safe place. Yeah. I'm able to, uh, if I can get away from everything, I'm able to hunker down and just mm -hmm. literally go into my work and just disappear. Yeah. yeah. And it's just, you know, and I don't, like people were talking about, like a lot of the, um, a lot of the drag work is being done with um, computer. Mm -hmm. And I, I thought about it, but then it was like, no, I like actually, feeling the sensations mm -hmm. of you know pencil going across paper mm -hmm. uh the the sound of the marker on the paper like I like that sensation mm -hmm. so that's what uh yeah that's what prevented me from going into computer graphics yeah I like the old school like and I like I like the fact too like I get flack up here boy do I ever get flack up here when I say you know I show them that I'm an acrylic artist and they get all excited and then I'm like, no, I dropped it because of microplastics. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, then what do you do? What can you do? You're one of those tree huggers. And it's like, well, I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So, um, so how has the hub helped you on your journey? Oh, so much. I've been able to, like, I've been able to do art exclusively and I've been able not on the outside world but on the inside world and in cyber world I've been able to hang around artists mm. and it doesn't matter what level you're at you're with artists like I I found that it if, like you don't look at that everybody's at their own speed mm. and there's a lot of connections common that you have a yeah. lot yeah it's to, yeah. you know it's and Isn't it's good to be able to come into your space yeah and you're able to figure it out you're able to get helped out yeah Even so yeah it helped me yeah everyone is so different but yeah mm -hmm. there's this common thing that's bringing everyone together isn't there yeah isn't yeah it? yeah exactly but yeah like i said my why was tough my why yeah. was the toughest the what as soon as i i didn't want to i didn't want to do what everybody else was doing up here yeah yeah. And as soon as I got into drawing the drag queens, um, it just took off. It just yeah. took off. I do my own thing. Um, I will eventually show somewhere up here. Yeah. I don't know. The last place I went to, the last gallery, there was a bed in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, really? You want my work? Oh, you want, what about a contract? Oh, you can take a picture of me with your artwork. Great. I'm out of here. <laughs> Oh my gosh! But the exciting thing for you now is it. This, I could see it going worldwide. You know, you could you could easily send these off anywhere and have an exhibition anywhere in the world. So, I've got enough. I actually I'm doing paperwork right now. Um, oh, 
I've got 150, dra- uh, 150 drag queens. Amazing. So this is going to go somewhere because, you know, this, I think there's opportunities that you just haven't even tapped into yet. You know, when you start now getting out there, um, people will start to come with ideas of like, oh my gosh, we can do this, we can do that with these. And um, Yeah, yeah. And that's happy. the thing like that. I have to get my website up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have to get my website up. But uh, yeah, like I've got enough for an exhibition uh, where I live. No, I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. But I can show them that I do. Like I do like to take a break. Yeah. Like there's stuff that I have done that I haven't posted on this, on, uh, on United Art Space. Um, yeah. Just because I'm keeping the consistency going with the drag yeah. queens. But yeah. I do need a break. Like I, I was doing bugs. Oh, yeah. I, and I love bugs. Like, <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there? I love it. No. You found, you've started to find your place and you found your voice. So do you think that's, what's the biggest thing that you've taken from the hub, do you think? The voice. The voice, Artistic yeah. voice, I've focused in finally. Yeah. And to have the confidence to uh, stick it out with what I'm doing. Yeah. Amazing. You know? Yeah. You don't Amazing. have to, you don't have to do what everybody else is doing. You can do your own thing. It is tough. And yeah. it is, it's tough to do uh, internet exclusively, like I'm doing. Mm. That's, that's, it's, that is hard. That mm. is hard because you've got to, um, it's different when people can actually see you and talk to you. Yeah, yeah. It is a different world, yeah, for sure. And yeah, how does so that got... make you feel now you found your voice? How does that feel? I, I've always been, I've always been outside the box kind of thinker, but I do take um, pride in being a drag queen artist. Like, I uh, I don't want to be, um, I don't want to be doing their, their merch. I don't want to do merch. Mm-hmm. I want to do actual contemporary artwork portraits and get them into a prestigious art gallery. What an amazing ambition and goal to have. I love that because it's, t- like you say, it's, it's um it's just important isn't it to yeah you know, when we look back at history to bring them to the forefront yes and they've been here like that's the great thing too is that i've been doing research on them yeah and they've been around for years yeah years oh. even in the cartoons i did i did uh bugs bunny bugs bunny was in drag a lot <laughs> oh my god i did not know that <laughs> Well, see, this is the awesome thing is when you drill down, and this is what some people are scared of drilling down onto a theme, um, but when you drill down, it opens up possibilities and depth. And like you say, you started researching, you learn all this stuff that becomes a story to bring your work to life. It just, it does open up doors and. Yeah, yeah, it does. Um, And that's the thing too, like, uh there's there's nothing wrong with doing research with what your work is doing like I always think of myself as Maude Lewis the Canadian artist Mm -hmm. who just wanted to paint that's all she wanted to do is do her folk art and I'm I'm the same way I just want to do art Mm -hmm. yeah amazing amazing have you got any advice for anyone who's thinking about joining the hub that's maybe worried about joining oh join join the hub you'll learn a lot um it's a community. It really is a community. And it's, uh, it's a broad spectrum, which is nice. It's not, uh, what's what what I'm looking, it's not stale. It's a broad spectrum. Um, it's work. You find out, you have to find out about yourself and, uh, you find out, um, a lot about yourself. But once you get that focus and you get it down and you start to go, it's, it's great. Oh, it's wonderful. A great thing. And have you got one last tip for artists? Like, if you've got any advice, you know, you joined the hub and you've had a transformation. Is there one tip? Be open. Well, that's, I remember too, with um, when we were talking about uh, you were showing our artwork and you mentioned illustration to me. And that was just like, <gasps> I was an artist. I'm not an yeah. artist. <laughs> but to, uh, to be open to ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is definite. Don't don't shut everything down. Yes, that's a great yeah. tip. I love that because we can get tunnel visioned and we can sometimes be missing opportunities, can't we, if we're too yes. focused on, on what it is. Amazing. I just want to say thank you so much for being part of the hub. Thank you so much for doing this today. And thank well, you for thank sharing you. your story with everyone.
Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Take care. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>